Radio Live with Willie and JT. Be part of it. Join the debate. 0800 723 465. 0800 Radio Live. That's the, uh, that's the number if you want to get a, give us a call. It's um, the political panel with Matt McCartan, our regular lefty, and this week filling in for that rotten Matthew Hooten. The, crooked, the, crooked. The, the, the equally rotten Cameron Slater. <laughs> can I, can how, I are you, how are you, Cameron? Yeah, good now, Cameron, you've just been named in the House in question time as usual. Defamed, uh, defamed over, over in the ACC. House. But it's quite clear, isn't it, that uh, there are splits and divisions in national over someone polished the floor under Nick Smith. Someone in the national team did. There is an allegation Judith. that it was Judith Collins. Uh, you're on the inside. What do you say? Look, I, I'm, I'm not privy to the uh, what goes on in the Beltway. But I know one thing is Nick Smith would never have been at risk if he hadn't written some stupid letters in support of uh, Bronwyn Puller, and he's only got himself to blame for that. And this whole uh, whole charade, this whole uh, mess that's happened there. Sure, there's. I'm not going to stick up for ACC. They they've got some things that are dreadfully wrong going on in there. Um, ironically, it's going to suit the government because Labor's going on and on and on about how. Did Judith polish the floor under Nick? I have no idea, but um, I would suggest that um, Michelle Bogue um, was probably deeply involved in this and, and took out Nick Smith along the way um, no. with, with, with friendly fire. Not our Michelle. She was one of sort our of guests un- a week ago. So sort well, of she un- won't be again, will she? Oh, a sort of unintended con- con- consequences. Unintended consequences. Um, um, <laughs> Dick, look, I'm no fan of Nick Smith on his uh, politics around the, the myth of climate change. Certainly no um, fan of him on that. But he's a hard-working MP yeah. in the local area, and I wouldn't wish what befell him on any other MP out there. But again, I'm not sticking up for him. He did some pretty silly things to get rid of a mad yeah, woman who was pestering yeah, him. Yeah, but there's a very forceful person, Michelle Bogue. Very well connected. Forceful to who? Not to me. Uh, no, no. Well, it's no, starting to look like this: that if you're in the upper echelons of the National Party with all the connections, uh, you you just are not on the Beltway, mate. You 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 get to the checkbook real quick. What do you say to that? Oh well, obviously, because I'm certainly nowhere near a checkbook. Um, haven't seen any checks coming my way, so I'm definitely outside of that influence. I was thinking the uh, uh, the other day that, that, that if you're not getting checks, you should be because you've probably done more for the port com- company and some of these lot yeah, than any the, other mainstream you're press. You've been a bloody disgrace. PR guys. But um, <laughs> that said, um, I think I think that 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 Nick Smith, yeah, he made a mistake in writing the letter, letter but it does seem, as you say, JT, about polishing the floor. You know, there's more to this. And we all know politics. The four of us know know our oh, know politics, right? Who benefited? Who benefited by Nick going down? Whose From fingerprints are all over this? Well, yeah, well that's Michelle the, Bogue. Yeah, Stephen exactly. Joyce. So there is Michelle. I think that Judith Collins. The interesting thing about that is that Key felt he had to say in public that he had asked her twice for reassurances it didn't come from from. from he might have minister. had a stutter like you, Matt. And so, well, you can be a play all gimmicks. I'm trying to actually talk seriously here. So here we have a situation. What is going on? Is there's clearly there's agendas being played in the National Party that even the Prime Minister's not sure if he's been told the truth. Michelle Bogue is a player. She doesn't she tell the truth. She was the person who got uh, key to stand and brash and something. No, no, that's not true. The she did not get key then, to stand. That's a then, myth. Then, well, you know, myth and perception is what history is written by for those or oh, those who win. But what I'm Saying, all right, well, I'll accept that. I, How did Michelle know, go in 2002? That's, oh, well, that's what they say, so let me just put that. The thing is that Collins is seen as the potential... Um, um, successor. Successor to John Key. She, that Nick Smith and her haven't had much in common. You know, there's been a bit of stress between them. It has been in her interest that he got knifed and not her. So there's something going on that's very mur- murky. That's why Labour smells it. They kind of know what's going on. It's interesting that Collins is going for defamation. We'll come back to that smelling um, from Labour. I think. got some yeah, thoughts I, I, on I, that. All right. Well, that, no, no, no. That's fair enough. So is there divisions in our, in our, well, in the National Party? There's certainly some 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 agenda <coughs> which the Prime Minister know, our knows about and he wants to get to the bottom of it, but not in front of the public. And Labour, in my context, and Cam has got his own, in, in Labour is, they believe that Collins did play a role, the leak did come from her office. <laughs> no, well, that, well, that's what I say. So, you know, they want an inquiry, and so all roads will lead, but they go somewhere. Yeah. So, you know. What you're seeing here, though, with Labour is, a, is, is the factionalisation there, too. 
because David Shearer came out and said he didn't want to play gotcha politics. And what you've got here is his deputy, Grant Robertson, yesterday, front and centre, leading an attack, gotcha politics, naming unelected people outside of the House, smearing them uh, quite shamelessly. Uh, it's my mate Simon Lusk. Um, and then you had Andrew Little smearing me and Simon as well. Um, this is so incredible that you've you never, you never, <laughs> hey, you you never smeared anyone. You say that. You've been the biggest smear in the bloody face. universe. Um, what are you talking about? You, you should is, admire it, your fellow <laughs> smearers. <laughs> you know, the difference between me and uh, Grant Robertson and Trevor Mallard and Andrew Little is I do my smearing in the public um, arena. I do it on my blog. That where, is true. That and is true. they do it that like a true. bunch of cowards that hiding behind parliamentary privilege. I'll give you that. Yeah. Um, that's, that's and I own my own you words. You can't deny that, Matt. No, 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 no. And and, and 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 that's the appropriate answer. Although they did go on Ray on Radio New Zealand, and now they'll at, suffer at, 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 at accusation. So when you say, "Well, I," you know, well, you give credit to them. They did go on public record outside of Parliament, put it up. So they will have that. Well, right Mallard's, to, to Mallard's using an anonymous mail, and I hear it's from a rather senior person who really shouldn't be emailing Trevor Mallard, that's likely to come out eventually. Senior person where? In the National Party. Well, exactly. So look, In the party. Yeah, but it, it makes point, right? There is information. Oh, look, there's stuff happening, but there's definitely stuff happening in the Labour Party too. We've got Shearer and Nash are sitting there. Yeah, you're drawing wonder, a long boat. No, no, really, watching what's happening. Uh, I understand uh, yesterday that, um, that there were questions over whether or not they should run this um, smear attack from Mallard, and Mallard pretty much just told the Chief of Staff well, he didn't really care what he had to say because he was going to do it anyway. Yeah, well, you know, I take that with a grain, grain of salt because you weren't there and you have vested interest in trying to deflect. Oh, I'm not deflecting. I don't what, care. What, Bring what it thing? on. Okay, the question now is where where does the story run and what damage, if any, um, has occurred to National losing? Here's a big scalp. He, he's not formidable, but he's extraordinarily capable. Um, he, he's got huge institutional memory. He was taking the scalpel to uh, local government. That'll over, still happen. Uh, over there. But uh, we're working it through. Who, um, you know, or you're on the inside, who stands the gain from his loss? Well, I understand this afternoon they're going to announce who the new minister is. To, Who's in the to scope? Replace him. Um, there's any number that are out there. I would think they might tap Simon Bridges on the shoulder for that. Well, either that or the chief whip. Although, um, Who's I don't, the chief whip? Well, he's so forgettable. He's about three foot six. Who is he? Oh, what, what, I don't know. Michael Woodhouse. There you oh, go. Woodhouse. Michael, yeah. uh, the Dunedin. I was going to say, it's kind of the Dunedin guy. So he's, yeah. he's, oh, well, he's very competent. He uh, so, lost the party so vote. Bridgen, though. Yeah, but Bridge and him are sort of the, the next two, aren't they? The generation. The next generation. Well, I mean, and Simon's a Maori, of course, so Ed Brown's the, the cabinet a little bit, or Brown's the, the ministerial. <laughs> he's one of those. Okay. Oh, yeah, yes, I would say. That's, that sounds kind of <laughs> pathetic. Um, um, <laughs> I would say. He's a know, no, man. no, no, no. But. but um, the local bo bo bodies, if they're going to do a restructuring, I would have thought they would have put someone more senior in. Well, it depends on what the portfolios well, are. There will yeah. be um, a, a vacancy. So, yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't know, maybe they're going to get Jerry Brownlee to okay, do the so, earthquake. So on let's them. go back to the Nick Smith stuff. This Bogue has got, got a lot to answer for here. Is that what you're saying? This is not good for Bogue. This Absolutely, she's got Bogue. a lot to answer for. Look, here's the thing: take away all of the so-called leaked emails and all of that sort of stuff. That is completely detracting from it. What we've got here is a woman who um, has suffered a brain injury. She doesn't think straight. She acknowledges that. She you said that you publicly. But Bronwyn Puller. Oh, oh, we thought, oh, we thought, oh, we thought, oh, we're hoping that, she, she, oh, that you were talking about the other one. Hang on. She, uh, she had one too. Hang on a second. She, she's now admitted today in the Dom Post that she installed some software that allowed her to track what was happening with her stuff in, in ACC. Well, arguably that's probably a crime. Secondly, she went and, and approached her uh, good friend, Michelle Bogue, um, who she's used before. Um, well, Bogue sort of used to be her employer. Well, well, right. well, well yes that, and no, well, but, she, but, but you so don't... So you say Paul is a nut, but you don't point out that she was the communications director for the National Party, your party. It, 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 so it, you were directed by a nut. It, that's what you're saying. It was back in 2002, mm. wasn't it? And who was in charge then? Oh, that's right, Michelle Bogue. Mm. Worst result ever. So so what you've got here, she then dies in a ditch and goes to a meeting with senior ACC people. Oh. She then writes, uh, they, they allegedly um, uh, come to an agreement uh, where they say we'll return the data that she's obtained. 
uh, in consideration for two years of continued ACC cover. That's right. Well, that's extortion. It is. It's right? a criminal act. But that, and they, but they're denying and it. And Well, they are denying it, but, but ACC says otherwise. And so that's they've right. reported no, no. it to the police and there'll be an investigation. Yeah, no. So so, But Michelle Bogue's very culpable in that because... Yeah, I agree. She was acting as an advocate for a woman who's admitted, self-admitted, that she had a brain inj injury. So that support person has a duty to care to ensure that that person is represented properly and what she's allowed her to do is to make, an uh, allegedly, an extortion claim against ACC. That's true. <laughs> and then, compounding the issue, she then emailed all of that to, to Judith Collins. Yeah. Um, Judith and sent it to Judith Collins, and Judith Collins has confirmed she also sent it to a staff member mm -hmm. in a ministerial capacity, says in that letter, according to David Fisher, that, that this is very concerning for your board, yeah. for your CEO, right. for your department. That makes it ministerial yeah. uh, business, searchable by the Official Information Absolutely. Act. Absolutely. You've got yeah. a question whether that letter was sent so it could be discovered. Exactly. And so as soon as Ju oh, well, Judith Collins got, got it, she passed it she, on. She looked it in and said, this is dynamite. This is I'm nice. sending it back to the yeah. department where it belongs. Yeah. She got better smarts than Nick Smith, which you would expect. And Pansy and, Wong. And, and, and others, right. Yeah. And, and, so, and so I agree with you. And so, and so what happened with Bo? You're right. She's promoted as this very smart, capable, clever woman. But you and I, well, all four of us know that's just dumb, you know. And at worst, it's extortion. And at best, it's if woodenness, you know, it's like incompetent. And so I, but I it's classic Bogue. I mean, she operates yeah, in the shadows. This yeah. is how she operates, yeah. and she's gone one step too far. She took on the crusher, so there's and a that's lot of, a really bad well, thing to do. The, well, indeed, but it sort of shows an arrogance not backed up by competence. Well, well, arrogance comes from having it's a overreach. You're right. It's overreach. Arrogance comes from having a lifetime of getting away with it. Yes. And I think, and 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 I think that that's a better explanation because what we've, you know, because it makes sense, is that this is a person who was tipped in the National Party, put the knife to your dad too, I think. Um, yes, she um, did. Um, oh, and did so, she? yeah, I just realised that, 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 that that's quite that's a scurrilous been, campaign too. Has, but yes, and I and I agree. I watched it from well, the it outside. Worked. Yeah, it, <laughs> it did, it worked. Yeah. They, no, no, no. I they mean, got rid of Dad. Oh, your man's got a bit of old conservative class, and so they He's want right. him out. Well, well out. You know, as, I say, as I say, Matt, whenever Dad talks about the presidents of the parties back in the day when he was president, they used to get around a table occasionally That's and, right. and, and <laughs> sort did. out the backroom issues, right? <laughs> it's true, isn't it? It is. He always said, of all the presidents, mm. the most time I had of anybody... Mm. Was with Matt McCartan. Oh well, look now, mm. now. Oh well, now you're damaging both our reputations. Okay. <laughs> it's, Cam it's Cameron. It's Cameron. They never. Oh, stopped. there he is, the man of the moment, Winston. He has to be the most effective. Because Wigs crooked again. Yeah, whatever. Look at he, it. he got your number. He's got all of the numbers. Is Wigs crooked? Oh, 800 Radio Live. It's the blog. Is the main blog out here? No doubt about it. Uh, Whale oil. We'll come to the Wolfie We're straight after this. We're going to talk about Cameron and his dirty, filthy <laughs> uh, <laughs> tactics against those wonderful Wolfies straight after the break. <laughs> Radio Live. With Willie and JT. The conversation starts here. Call now. 0800 723 465. 0800 Radio Live. Yes, we're that's back into the, it. That's the, that's the uh, number if you want to give us a call. Well, Matt, people like Cameron Slater and John Tummer had an egg all over their face this week, right? Their dirty, rotten, right-wing <laughs> chairman, Pearson... <laughs> Who is this? There's not many days the he left a, to have a win. So he's a dude. Where's the win? When you get it, it was, Who he won? Was, Who he won? was cleaned out, wasn't he? Where's Matt? the win? Are those guys back dirty, at work? No. filthy mongrel, isn't he, Matt? <laughs> you shush up, Cameron. I, 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 I actually think it was a very good win in the terms of that the port had been telling everyone they got a bullet. Proof That's case. Right. They've right. got it all tidied, and they've got some smart sort of operators on their side. And the chairman he come comes up there, and J and J T goes all weak in the knees and <laughs> becomes and a huge fan. And and, um, but, he should be knighted. But, but <laughs> what they so. did is they Sir kind Richard of got Pearson. into they overreach. <laughs> And I guess it's sort of, it's a bit like Michelle Bowe. They get so arrogant yes. in the thing. They're untested. And suddenly, you see, they thought, go into the judge. And what those of us who have been in the defendant box in these courts, right, is that judges are very anal retentive. They actually believe that they're gods 
in their own right. And so when these guys go into the back rooms and they do deals and then they renege on it the next day, these judges sit like there the and union. see, and then they turn up and they got a pasting. And so Cameron's right, you know, in the legal thing, it's kind of, you know, well, you say, I say, and are they back at work and that, and they're going to pay, pay them. But this is never about money. So right? they These can go shopping will with go, the uh, will, yeah, will go for the throats of those workers, and they intend to have, have their way. But for the first time, you see, New Zealanders like people obeying the laws. They do. They do. And so they sort of look at that and they go, that doesn't seem right. Well, what's interesting yeah. is... And, and, and so I think they've lost the public... Fight yeah. and people now start. <laughs> no, 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 no. When, when I say like Cameron has got a job, job to do, yeah, they should yeah, pay look him after for what he's done. Right hey, no, no, no. Uh, what, uh, what he's done for them? B, because there are other PR guys have been hopeless. But what? I think that New Zealanders, or Aucklanders at least, who care, will start to think, oh, well, that doesn't look right. That's right, Cameron. And so for the first time, it doesn't look right. That's right. And that's right. why I think the winners. Just hang your head and you shame. See, no, no, I think, I think that's true. I think, oh, uh, no, no, I'll tell you why. Um, you can't be, have been as emphatic as Pearson was all over the shop. Cast iron legal opinions. Cast iron... Um, there's no turning back from this. We're, they haven't heard the case yet. We haven't heard the legal but hang, No, no, but hang on, mate. Like, uh, it's very... Uh, difficult to say that when um, you've been turned over on breach of process, which must have happened. Otherwise, they wouldn't have consented to the injunctions. Like, like we can all read between the lines. We've been through courts a lot of times. You have, particularly Cameron. And um, <laughs> and, 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 and it should have been. You know, but, but it just not doesn't look good. It looks like um, well, we went it, in half. It doesn't look good when um, the judge says. Uh, oh, by the way, guys, can you just refrain from talking to the media? And five seconds after they go out the door, Parslow and Kelly are on in in the media saying what a great victory that they've had. When it isn't in fact a great victory, it's a, it's really a timing process thing that they're, they're going through. They're very measured. Yes, I agree with that. And actually. and and so they're claiming <laughs> that's your two. I think you talk the same language. They're claiming victory, and no, and yet a not a it single a one of those victory. not a single one of those uh, yeah, no, workers has crossed through the gates to go to work. No, but that's the interesting thing. They've got it? a week well, and a half well, worker just, wages, no, no, so they can I, take their missus okay, shopping. Listen, yeah, let's let's hear where it's going to end, and then we'll hear from Matt McCartan where he sees it ending. Yeah. So 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 the court said, well, not the court said. The, the, the minutes, because there's no injunctions been issued at all yet, there's, there's a court minutes, and the minutes said that both parties agree to this and both parties agree to that. Where injunctions occur is when the parties don't agree and the judge has to make an order. So we've got no orders. What we've got is two parties agreeing before the judge that they'll do certain things. So what the court said is, well, OK, we've issued our, our, um, our lockout notice. That doesn't take effect until next Friday. In the meantime, tell you what, We'll pay the guys as if they were back at work. But by the way, can you show up on Thursday to let us know just how many of the of you there are? Now, my union sources are telling me that about 80 of them have bolted. So there isn't 300. These are the scabs you work with, right? Well, well, yeah, contributing <laughs> contributing <laughs> members of society. The scabs you work I, when with, I, yes. I crossed the picket line once, oh, well, and they wrote scab sure. on my name badge. I wore it to work proudly. Uh, listen, anyway, where's it going to end? You're lucky you didn't come across where, the where and when is it going to end? So, so what's going to happen is that is that they got caught tomorrow, right? Mm. Uh, they're going to hear the uh, the union's arguments with regards to whether or not the lockout notice is valid, because that's what they're in court for. I'm picking that the lockout notice will be upheld because they issued the lockout notice with two weeks' notice. Um, that's appropriate. That's the law. You're allowed to do that, just like the union is allowed to issue a two-week notice of, of strike. Okay, you're, you're calling it right, yep. And then um, they will say, and the, the court will come out and say, yep, sure, but um, in the meantime, the guys can go back to work, and the port will say, well, we haven't got that many ships coming in. We've already filled the roster. We need to work out the roster for the next month or so anyway, so look, uh, we'll pay you but you don't have to come to work. And then on Friday, the lockout notice will take effect and those union guys will never set foot on that wharf again. Right. Well, so, sure that's his prediction. No, 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 no. And okay. I think, and I think they think it's merit. But you see, what I'm, I suppose the point I'm, I was trying to make is that we've always said this was never about the collective agreement. The company never had any intentions of doing in good faith and go on oh, our no, oh, Oh, negotiations. They intend to smash that union, smash right. those workers right. and get rid of them, That's right. no matter what. That was that's agenda right. from day one. Might is right, that's right. but they've been caught Greed up a few good. times along. Yeah, well, that's what they're doing. And, so, and, and, Cam, and, and Cameron well, will think that that's good. You don't do your media things for nothing, but, do you? But, but, <laughs> but anyway... Greed is good. 
Yeah. Well, okay. All right. Um, so what we have is the company had an agenda and tends to run with it. It got caught in terms of thought it could get away with certain things it couldn't. But I think that, yes, they put – see, what they did is they put the notice of, 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 of lockout – they didn't expect the workers, you see, to turn up and say, "Okay, we'll go back to work now." The strike is over. Oh, oh, sure, oh, oh, that was oh, a oh, good. Oh. And so, yeah, it was a good. That was a good tactic. Good tactic but it's failed ultimately. But no, no. And so they'll pay the workers. And so, so you're right. You see, so when the port says we've got to have efficiencies, it's all nonsense, right? They just intend to get rid of all the staff and start with low. You'd agree. You agree with that, don't you? So that's the tactic. Oh, look, that, that is. The, it's exactly what I said before. No, but that's so exactly what Matt says. No, no, no. Yeah. That we agree. Right. Well, we all agreed on that. But. But what I think the company's lost in the public perception, that's what they didn't portray from the start. They kept pretending they were acting in good faith and, <coughs> and trying that's to right, man. And it's the unions that's wasn't right. agreeing on And there hasn't now, been. And now but what hasn't Cameron is saying is what the truth is. No, no, that's, right, right, that's why you're good, Cameron. No, hang on. You're very clear about the agenda, aren't you? I'm very clear about that. That's yeah. how it's going to pan out. Yes. Um, but bear in mind. There hasn't been a single finding of bad faith against the company at all oh, for in the employment court. In That's fact, true. in oh, fact, God. in well, fact, what, what court case are you guys watching? No, 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 no. What because that's read? not been the question, right? Well, the, I don't the, read the minutes from the Maritime no, no. Union's press releases like you can do. Can I? Can you know? Instead of just playing true. games, I get them all the time. <laughs> instead of just playing little games here, can we just think? When I speak with when I sit with employers or anyone, you know good faith when you see it, you know bad faith when you see it. Hey Matt, we better take this break. We'll we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back to this. This Radio Live, entertaining talk and news as it happens. Radio Live with Willie and JT. Be part of it. Join the debate. 0800 723 465. 0800 Radio Live. Uh, Cameron Slater from the right, Matt McCartan from the left. We want to go to Hoskins and because uh, that's a bit of your area too, uh, Cameron. We want to get a, a sort of view from you on the media. But we just finished on the water siders. You're saying they'll never go back on the wharf, Cameron. Matt, no. you're saying they got a chance, a real chance. Well, well Matt and I have got a no, little no, bet no, in the background. No, no, and we've got a bet. We're up to three bucks now. Where oh. I, I, I mean, he doubled it. Well, let's go to let's go, no, let's go to four. Four. Okay. Well, let's go to four. Well, let's make it around five. I'm, I'm, okay. No, no, Matt, will, they, will they get no, back no. on the wharf? Um, no, this is what I think it's coming down to. Either the, the directors go or the wharfies go. That's where I think it's gone. The now. wharfies will go. And so I think that that's now the fight. I think I think now there's no choices of fight to the finish. Yes. And I think the, and port, the port directors go or the union is going to go. So I think it is as clear as that. Well, 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 we know and you know that the directors aren't going. If, if, well, no, 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 no. No, no, no if I'm you've not, called it, no, if you've, you've sure. made the corner, let's, let's get right. Yeah, sure. We'll let's get, get it right back to the bare bones. If if it's, this is down to the death now, yeah, right? Yeah, but these two these two parties just are irreconcilable. Yes, one has to go. You're quite right. Yeah. Oh, now you said it's either the directors or it's the union. Yeah. Now there's a couple of things that has to happen before the directors go, and I, I just don't see that happening. How do you see it happening? No, I no no, I agree. It ain't going to be easy, and I think it will end in tears. Yeah, you know, you're right. Be, no, because for of, if witness, no, not for no, 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 no. Here's the thing. The conventional wisdom from from Cam and maybe yourself, JT, will be, you know, oh, you know, it's a no-lose for the other side. See, you're assuming the Warfies will just roll over. No, they won't roll over. They're going to fight to the death. Well, I'm not assuming that at all. They'll fight to the death and and they'll die like the dinosaurs they are. Well, (laughs) you know, we'll, we'll, (laughs) we'll see. We'll see. Because... In the end, you see, what the difference is, it's a publicly owned port. That's right, man. It's a publicly owned port. Right. Yeah, for and everyone, not but, for the unions. But, but, but we'll see. We'll it's see. for everybody, not the unions. We'll see. I want to see that yeah, port Yeah, I profitable. hear all the rhetoric from the... It's not... What, from, you're from, just gecko. From, you just call from, yourself gecko. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, see, here's <laughs> no, the thing. That's a movie from the 80s. Most yeah, of your listeners don't the, remember you've that. You've got the same view. Here, Here's the thing Breed that Cam, good. I think, has lost himself lost a long, no, 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 a see. long, no, no. Here's the thing, a long, a long, on the way, I think the right have lost. New Zealanders believe in fair government. Yeah, I agree. No, I no, agree. Yeah. they believe they in, do, and that's why they're against right. the No, 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 yeah. and that's why. No, no, you're calling it wrong. I think that that we'll see. is underestimated because they'll say yes, the wharfies got to compromise, but see, I think the, the port directors have overplayed their hand, and I think it sits on the edge. And I think your assessment and JT's assessment and mine are all the same. But what I think you mm, underestimate, right. which you yeah. may be right, but I think what you're underestimating 
is the public factor. No, I'm not underestimating. You had a march and you scraped up 5,000 people. Yeah, that's the start. More people went to Pacifica oh, that weekend mm. than, than went to support When's the When's the last thing? time a right-wing march got more than 1,000? Yeah, yeah, anti-smackers oh. didn't yeah. even get 1,000. Well, what do you have to say about yeah, it? Yeah, and you had $200,000 put in. I think, I think, I think Boobs got, on bikes got 100,000. <laughs> yeah, I think we... <laughs> Boobs on bikes got 100,000. That's 100, what we reduced <laughs> to with you. Boobs You're on bikes bloody got 100,000 people in so Queen I'm Street. I'm not sure And Mun's got 5,000. Yeah, There's I, the public No, 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 hang on. Your anti-smackers, right, with all the beater up around. They're not mine. Yeah, hang on. He put about a couple of hundred grand into the march. How many people did he get, JT? Five thousand. Yeah, but, <laughs> but that's Colin Crowley. Um, can yeah. can you know can, the guy can't no, even no, the can, guy spent a million can, dollars coming can, last. Can can you please stop? Please stop. The thing please, is, please, so please I just say please stop because brilliant. I just sort of think there are people. You know, we're just being silly. No, that's right. The that's thing the is, right you shouldn't it. compare. We shouldn't degenerate to a people who come out to support a group of workers on strike, and 5,000, I think, is actually the... No, can I, no, 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 let me finish. Is the biggest Teachers. march this country's ever had in terms of supporting a group of workers in the dispute. But look, I'm not trying to think. But then to say, oh, well, it should be compared with, 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 with other types of mar- marches, I think it's just not comparing apples. OK, we better take another break. 0800 Radio Live. <laughs> Only seven percent of you. Only seven percent of you now. Seven and dropping. John, talk to. uh, Who do you want to talk to, John? John, John, is John gone? Oh, I missed him. John, where you going? I've got a comment to make. But firstly, can you please explain to me the last ruling by the Employment Court regarding the ports? Uh, well, we can't. Well, quickly, Matt. There hasn't been a ruling. There hasn't been a ruling. Is I, I thought. I thought they said they told them to go back to work and then negotiate since to start. They, um, they said is that the employer should be letting them back to work, but yep. the employer used some excuses about health and safety. Wasn't very work. good. Excuse. And so what yep. the employer said is that we'll pay them uh, to stay out because what the employer is actually doing, everyone always is growing yep. up. They are waiting for their. They had to give two weeks note or oh, notice to lock them out, yep. and so and so. What the employers are doing is trying to uh, duck in and dive and dive yep. and get to the two weeks. They're just running well, down the clock, and they're paying down. Yeah. yeah, they're running down the clock, and they're well, paying the to workers. Me, yeah, to me, the uh, management that are running the ports, are, the answer to the employment court is they're giving them the one finger salute. Correct, and, and that's what they're scared about. Yeah, no, and the council scared. by sitting on their hands are supporting that. Yeah. Now that council's local government. Yeah. Now, what message is that putting out to the people, everyday New Zealanders, if they're not going to abide by a court ruling? That's right. Why should anyone else listen no, no, to what a court? The, what the council... Well, what is even more extraordinary is this. In, no, 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 no. Just, I want, I want, I want, I want to say, <laughs> say <laughs> something. Yeah, no, no, no. I want to say this. Jump, yeah. jump in there, Matt. No, I will. Like, Thank you. He's, um, losing it. He's losing it. Here's, here's, here's the thing. When the court ruled the workers are going to go out to work, they yep. weren't turn up to work. The bosses then put security guards on the gate. This is after the bosses are going, oh, you know, the economic ruin to the city. We can't get the ports going. These workers are holding the... We only made a half a million dollars. So then... So then when the workers say we're coming back to work because the court has ruled for us to go back, they they put the security guards and say you're not to come in. No, they're violent. No, no, no. Then... No, no, and then... No, let me put this one out because this is the main point. Yes. The cops turn up with three no, paddy wag, 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 yeah. wagons. The company gets, you know, and they back the company. They say to the workers, any of you go back to work or try to go back to work, we're going to arrest you. And we've got three paddy wag, wag, wagons yeah. here. Yeah, and extraordinary things, the court rules the workers go back to work. The bosses then break the law and say, we're not letting them back. And the cops turn up and say, if you try and get no, back, no, no, we're not letting no, them back. They can't break me. the law. Yeah, There's health and safety aspects. Yeah, 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 yeah. you've, you've got one of the... One of the one of the union's negotiators got sacked because he threw twist locks under the wheel of a straddle crane. Oh, rubbish. It's, no, Tony, it's, it's in Tony, the employment court. Tony, get One of the workers. Yeah. Nah, you said him. Hello. Tony, get a. How's it going? We're good. Yeah, you're good. Hey, uh, yeah, just talking about the port. Uh, I've, been a, I've been working down there for a few years now, for a couple of years. And, um, mate, they're going on about profitability down and productivity down and that. All last year, the year before, the company's coming out with shouts and, and profit barbies That's and all right. sorts of That's things right. like that. Oh, we're another you know, man's member. And, and now, here, hello. Yeah, you carry yeah. on, Tony. You're, you're, you're talking brilliant. You're talking to radiotherapy here. <laughs> radiotherapy. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. You know, they, they say that Aucklanders are, Aucklanders are supporting the poor workers. You know, you just need to come down to the cricket and, and like that 5,000 5, marches. I mean, you got one. 
person in, in your crew there that's saying, what an insignificant turnout. Mate, that's, that's supporting 200 workers, 5,000 people. No, that's John Tamahiri. He's a disgrace. No, that's, that's no, 200 it's That's two hundred workers. It's 200 now, not 300. 100 are gone, obviously. So what you're saying is go to hell, Cameron, and John Tamahiri, right? Well, I think that's well, yeah. How the hell they get on TV? On, on the radio and TV? Oh, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how they got on. I don't, <laughs> no. I've got no idea. We live in a democracy. <laughs> we live in a democracy. Well, Willie can't. They're a, they're, they're, John only got a job because he only got a job because no, of me. Cameron. He needed Captain Matthew. Only got a job because of you, Cousy. Oh, no. no, they're brave. What they needed? <laughs> they, they needed? They needed a Fijian to balance the three oh, Maori. Shut up. So they married, got me. Married. 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 Oh, married. Oh yeah. Wow, that sounds good. Where you go, bro? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, ringing because I've returned uh, from the picket at Auckland City oh, Council. Good one of five people. At Monica. Well, actually, that's not quite true. That uh, At the beginning, there was a uh, few people, but as the meeting progressed, uh, over 60 people actually Ooh, turned 60. to. And uh, representatives of all sorts of community organisations and groups and the general public. And, you know, the question has been asked here, who is running this city? Uh, in terms of the Port of Auckland and in terms of our democratically owned, publicly owned utilities. Our mirrors. Our mirrors. Liam Brown doing oh, a great our, job. Our mayor. Doing a great job. Our mayor yeah. coming from two scum buckets who didn't vote for him. Exactly. He's, <laughs> doing, you know, he's doing a and great job. And two fools who right. did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Liam Brown's doing a great job, oh, isn't he, yeah, John? Yeah. 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 He's actually following oh, the law. I, I know I shouldn't have voted for Banksy now. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are certainly abdicating yeah. their, 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 their democratic oh, mandate yes, tremendous. is to faithfully look after our publicly owned No, no, he, he's following and the law. Brown is, is a dictator. A, uh, unelected appointees mm. made by... Uh, That's Tim Heary's one no, of those. No, back and join the IRA. <laughs> And, We're moving uh, on. Glenn You're Brown. a good man, yeah. <laughs> Glenn Brown can go jump in the lake. Oh, 800 Radio Live. He's talking about you, John. Radio Live. With Willie and JT. Be part of it. Join the debate. 0800 723 465. 0800 Radio Live. Yes, that's the number. We're with the rotten right, filthy right, Tamahiri and Slater, and the lovely left, Matt McCartan, <laughs> and myself, Cameron. <laughs> Uh, Hoskins is on the take, uh, so they're saying. Um, JT Good on him. JT said he's corrupt. Dunka, he says he should go. From uh, this is from JT, the, other... the unelected person on the council, getting <laughs> trough that? loads of money. Another, another, another appointed official. You're, yeah. just, you're, so, you're just envious. Talking about, about corruption. Right so, so no, he's saying it's corruption. Do you are you offended by what Hoskins is doing on uh, on the other channels? Look, I wish I had sponsors out there that were throwing bucket loads yeah, but, of cash but at his me. But editorial policy is compromised, Cameron. Do you not get this? Well, every radio station carries ads. Not it. <laughs> God, he's not. What pays it. your bill? Yeah, but. <laughs> He's, he's, not not getting, getting, he's not getting. He's not getting. Can he's not getting paid can, by the Maritime Workers Union? Can I just say? Mm. Yeah. Yes, it's corrupt in the sense of that it's not declared. It's acceptable it's corruption. No, this is it's someone. Not. No, no, it's not on it's any not. level. It's not. See what what they it's parade what is. So is it like you know no, no, not no, paying no. your tax? You can you can think. No, no, because that's a <laughs> different thing, and you've just been silly. Shut up, Kevin. The thing is <laughs> that what we've got is we've got people who. Uh, portraying themselves as independent and, yeah. And, yeah. and about opinions which people have been asked to trust, you know, and you trust in sure. what you've been told. If you know that person's also been paid by someone or an organisation of which they're reporting on and you didn't know, would you feel that you have been stiffed? The answer is yes. And that's the problem. Every, it's not they take the money. Every you know, they've news, got to make a living. Well, yes, well, yeah, well, yes, yes every, I know, but it's different. When you're a news or, you're or, 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 or organisation, yeah. you're selling advertising like they do on the show to pay the bills. It's declared. <laughs> what we've got here is you've got people who are trusted and are promoted as celebrities, as faces you can trust. Meanwhile, even unknown to their own employer, and some of them, have not told the employer they're getting paid well, money I've, whenever I've worked, don't you get that when, no I get that whenever yeah. I've worked in sales um, all my contracts in sales have always included a provision of, of um, uh, forbidding secret commissions 
And uh, it happens a lot in, in out there, and especially in technology, where you uh, in a position where you can influence the purchasing of particular. No, but it equipment. doesn't happen in the media. No, no, no. no. So what I'm saying is that it, on that level, and what Matt's talking about there in terms of an uh, undeclared commission, if it was all up front, yes, our yeah. people get this, this, That's this, right. this. I think we agree. We've yeah. got no issue there, but this is really, really hard for all media organisations that take advertising. That they, they stand accused often. Of going soft on a particular. Hey, JT, wrap it up in the last minute or so, because your mate's all confused. Yeah, no, no, look, it's, no, no. I think I think Matt McCartan put it in the right way. The problem you've got, your problem you've got with um, uh, Mike Hoskins is, particularly with Sky City, is he's not really uh, one. Enough. No, no, one. He no, wines and dines down there for free. He continues to advance it as the mecca for um, tourism. It's got major resource applications going before Auckland City and the government over significant support for a 750 seat theatre. And you've got a major broadcaster on the take, without disclosing it, advancing that without asking robust questions. That's just unacceptable. Mm. Yep. Yeah, and, and it's not about Radio Live at all, because JT's put the boot into Paul Henry too, Mr Slater. So, yeah, we made yeah. sure he got the sack from here, didn't we, Willie? Oh, Ran so him out of the town. difference? <laughs> he got a bonus going across <laughs> Australia. Ran him out of town. That was shameful, the way he was run out of town. Yeah. He's even making that, more. What was more shameful was unions that organised it. Having someone sacked because of a personal opinion. I didn't back Shocking. Him. Matt and I supported him, not us. We. Well, I saw the yeah. Unite banners out the well, front Well, that's there. not Matt. He can't help with They're yeah. opposed to racism. Yeah. You see, here's my thing. Then how come you're supporting Muns? How come you're supporting Muns? I want to talk about... Let's talk about that. Be, 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 because you're not going to get away with a cheap shop. That's not a cheap shop. The thing shop. is, yeah, quickly. when Paul Henry puts the boot into the shop kiki, but that's okay, puts it into the... Um, the gov oh, oh the governor general that's when the ruling class get upset. That's right. They'll well, what quite about happy with right. racism the average worker racism. they don't care what about, about what about that's the racism of Muns? And what's our what union? About the racism that's why our port, union port 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 is no, racism. No, no, they want some total allowing workers there. They, they Graham want McKean yeah. Shame on them. It's shocking. Shame on you too. Shocking. It's Union's Cameron Slate. Thank you for coming in though. No problem, mate. It's Cameron Slate. Colin Hooten's on the way out. Good on you boys, thanks. Kilda. See you tomorrow.